Agenda is approved. Uh, on to item three, public comment. Is there any public comment? We're short on public. Uh, moving to item four. Uh, I need a, it's a minutes. I need a motion support to uh, so move. Minutes. We have a motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed the same. Passes unanimous. Move on to item 4B, Human Resources, uh, Non-Employee Handbook, Revised Edition. Welcome, Joni. Good morning. Uh, after um, a very long process, we finally have revisions done to the County General, which excludes JDOT non-union employees, their handbook. Um, you have a copy of the handbook, and um, we had to make some significant revisions since it was last published in February of 2007. Um, there's lots of small changes too, but some of the um, significant changes are to incorporate all the relevant language regarded, regarding the Federal Af Affordable Care Act for health care. Um, we've revised policies and work rules to bring us in compliance with uh, recent rulings from the NLRB. Uh, we've made changes regarding just health insurance, our practices and policies for active employees and retirees, uh, particularly the premium co-payments, eligibility rules, etc. And we've also revised the paid time offs section because we've gone from where it used to be just uh, once a year accrual on the anniversary date to now a bi-weekly accrual. Um, I don't know if you've read the entire handbook book or have specific questions, but I'd be happy to address any concerns that you may have. And let, let me just add one other thing. The reason it is uh, before the board is because there are certainly uh, economic issues within the handbook, which of course fall under your jurisdiction. Thank you, Joni. Uh, Administrator Overton. I was just going to add that, <coughs> just for the, so the board understands that, you know, what you're looking at here, uh, the changes are all legal. It's not like we have a whole lot of choices in ACA or any of those kind of things. Right. I mean, we, we had the county attorneys uh, review it. We've had both our benefit attorney and our labor law attorney review the revisions to the handbook. Um, and it was also, before Adam left, he had an opportunity to review this draft. And he had a couple of suggestions, which we also made sure we incorporated. That was one of my questions. Okay. This has been reviewed uh, to me. <clears throat> Commissioner Elwell. A couple of comments. First of all, I need a boring life because I read through it last night, Joni. <laughs> but I do appreciate all the hard work on it. I'm sure it was no small task. Is it possible that we could get a red line version of it? You know, unfortunately it's not because the way that I work on these is when I start with a particular revision and then as we, as it gets changed, I just always work from the original document. So I cannot give you one particular red line version of what it was with all the changes to what it is now. Because it went through, I mean, I've worked on this, you know, kind of sad to say for, you know, the past probably four years, but the past year very diligently. So I don't just have what I know you want to see. So if we were really anal and wanted to look at we could look at the old versus the new? I mean, is there an old one? I could one certainly there? give you the old handbook. Is it fairly close to this? Most oh, areas? no. It's not totally no. different. Okay. No. Uh, my second question is, in one of the paragraphs early on, it uh, goes through to detail which departments, and mainly that elected officials, uh, is optional whether their non-contract employees uh, participate or not, want to follow those policies, and I think it's up to the elected official. So what what is the process for that, and is that on a case-by-case -case basis? Can the elected official say, I opt in, and then two months later they're opting out of following those, or how does that work? 
in my tenure here, we have never had an elected official say they're not going to comply with a handbook. Um, so I I'm, guess I'm not sure exactly what that response would be because I've not encountered that. I don't know if Mike ever has. but I, Actually, I have. And my response is and has been, uh, you need to show us your competing handbook that you are going to adopt. You don't get to opt out of ACA or ADA or any of those other you know, um, uh, legal requirements. Uh, so that's so do, do we have a formal process where they just sign something that says, yes, they, they're participating or following these? And if not, should we have? No, we've never had a formal process like that. No, I just assumed that everybody's uh, following this policy unless they deem say otherwise. And frankly, just for what's worth, it was a prosecutor who uh, who I had uh, with, and and I said, well, then you need to create a policy for sexual harassment. I need to see that one first. And needless to say, it wouldn't. But a couple weeks later, that uh, the individual she decided that you know we're going to follow the policy. <laughs> It was way too much uh, work to redupl to duplicate what we'd already done. And I and I guess just for clarification, that the kind of policies that you see in the handbook, like the uh, internet use or workplace violence, those are policies that you, as the board of commissioners, have actually put into place. The departments and elected officials can still set their own departmental policies as long as they're in compliance with any of our labor agreements or the policies that you as a board set for the county in general. Well, again, I don't want to be overly anal, but I guess I just would be comfortable if either there was an, a document where they opted in or if they were required, if they're not going to follow it, they have to give us notification that they're not going to follow it. But, I mean, it sounds like they typically always do. Yes. And that would certainly be the easier way that... Yeah. If they're not going to follow it, then they have to give us notification in writing that they're, they've opted out or something. But that's it for me. And again, a lot of this is mandated by the Affordable Care Act, and we have to... Yeah, a lot of that is, Phil, but if you read through it, there's a lot of things in there that are, I'm sure, not mandated. Uh, that I'd hate to be in a position to have some issue to, oh, well, we, we've decided we're not following that. I'm, I'm not, in all honesty, I'm not concerned. They're, they're, they don't get that really that option. It's a co-employer relationship. Um, so it, it should not be a problem. It hasn't been a problem to, to date. I've not heard of it. anybody oh, saying We've anything. never had an issue with that. Okay, well, I'd move that it be sent on for adoption by the full board. Support. We have a motion and support. Any further questions? Mr. Chair, did you have a... Okay. We have motion support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Uh, Thank you. Passes unanimously. Thank you, Johnny. Next up is item 4C, uh, the IT. Welcome, Don. Thank you and good morning. Um, morning. Before you is a request for procurement of memory for our storage area network. Um, this is pretty much driven by you know, additional needs due to software growth, additional data uh, storage and handling requirements. Questions? If not, I need a motion and support uh, to purchase this program. So moved. Support. Okay, I have motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimous. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do a fine job. Moving on to item 4D, uh, facilities. Welcome, Rick. You have a whole slew of requests. Good morning, Mr. Chair, Commissioners. First item you have before you this morning is the North Lawn Complex Carport Construction. Uh, after consulting with our project manager on this, it is a 36 vehicle carport. How have we got by with one, not having one in the past? Well, it's, 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 it's an issue where when we had that large amount of snow three years ago, we had real problems plowing that lot because in our other lots, 
we don't store that many vehicles we can just move them as we plow but to go through move 36 vehicles well actually a couple of them belong to the state as well as per their lease that was really tough but then to compound the problem we had three employee injuries uh, going in between the vehicles uh, constructing this carport is cheaper than the workman's comp okay questions discussion motion so moved we have a motion and support all in favor indicate by saying aye aye, aye. those opposed the same passes unanimous thank you rick good answer thank you sir need for it next up uh, item 4e again facilities uh, front lobby renovation at the county jail in front of you you have a request to renovate the front lobby at the Wesley Street Jail for me one of the main one of the main benefits of this remodeling project is it's going to remove the line of sight from the street up through the lobby and you would not be able to see uh, beyond the wall that we're going to construct there that's that's one of the huge issues at hand the second is it's not ADA compliant the way the front counter set up right now so when someone comes in to get a CPL or comes in for a report staff has to come out from behind and assist them then thirdly with the large increase in CPLs uh, we really need to change the workflow in there that's one of the advantages of my administrative assistant she worked at the front desk there for quite a while and was able to verify the fact that yeah it was really tough sometimes uh, the way it's currently set up A couple of questions Rick so th just to be clear this is the Wesley Street entrance not the lower lobby one correct yes it's the Wesley Street entrance and is part of the I didn't look at the plan if it was there but as part of the plan to replace the door or make it so for instance somebody in a wheelchair could get in and out by hitting a button or not no that was not part of this project so if somebody in a wheelchair comes up there they can get up there up the ramp correct they, yes, it's, but they would have to come out to open the door for him. Yeah, they still would have to. Good point. I can certainly look at, well, I'll consult with the sheriff on that. There, there, and the reason I say that is it's the same thing at the city. We did not have the handicap buttons uh, to let folks in the front door. I don't know why it's other than it must have been a security issue. I well that but I'm sorry no it's <laughs> yeah I could see that answer coming uh, no but the reality is that uh, well you and I obviously have been in there and when people walk into what's currently there they're surrounded by glass and can't get out of the lobby so I don't know what the security issue would be you'd probably shut that function off during locked hours uh, but it would seem like now would be the time to do that unless it's some huge amount of money to do that. It'd just be really changing the door probably, right? And maybe the height of it might be an issue. That and installing that the proper opener. I, I can certainly consult with the uh, sheriff on that and get back to you because that part's not contingent on the plan that you have before you. Well, those openers, I, I think they're pretty simple anymore. Uh, the one at Columbia quit working. I looked at it and just got a, a remote. I mean, you push a button, you battery think it's all white, it. but it's just a remote with a battery like a garage door opener right. that opens it. So, well, I, it might be worthwhile to look at that feature but for my point. But mm -hmm. Did you get a motion already, Phil, or not? Yeah. I'll make the motion. Support. We have a motion and support. All in favor? Indicate by saying aye. Those opposed, the same? Passes unanimous. Thank you, Rick. Thank Next you, sir. Item. Okay. 
the next item before you is trench drain replacement at the JC dot cold storage garage. This was their cold storage garage. It's just a big unheated garage where they keep their vehicles that aren't temperature sensitive. And over time, the drain has deteriorated to the point where it was deemed a safety hazard and needs to be rebuilt. I have no questions. Any question board? Support. We have a motion and support. All in favor and gate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed the same. Thank you. Passes unanimously. Uh, item G is next for you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In front of you, you have the proposal for the radiant heater replacement at the JC. Elm Street Garage. This was part of the director's um, facility bond that he had put in place. Currently, the radiant heaters in their main garage do not work. They're, heat, they're heating the space with makeup air, extremely inefficient. It wasn't designed for that. It was designed for radiant heat. That's why with the passage of, of that bond, we we're able to look at repairing these infrastructure needs that have gone on for years without being taken care of. Rick, was this covered in that energy audit we had done uh, a year or two ago that we're kind of following or not? It, it was mentioned, but because of the cost at that point, point in time, it wasn't part of it. Okay. So moved. Support. Aye. Aye. Thank you, sir. Can you tell me, just curiosity, how many of these are you doing? Or are you contracting everything out? I know you're starting to contract out. They're they're all contracted out. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing. You don't have anything more, do you? I, I do. So. Yes. Yeah, one more. Health department. Oh, okay. Yep. Eight. Okay, item 4H. <laughs> yeah, not that I like standing up here. It's just... <laughs> yeah, still had one more. Uh, in front of you, you have a proposal for the health department renovation project in the not-to-exceed amount of $15,517. Um, this is really a big bang for our buck in terms of the cross training that's taking place between nurses, uh, relocating folks to where they can achieve efficiencies and effectiveness by that cross training, and then planning for the increases in that have taken place in the WIC program. Discussion looks like a good 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 idea here. Any discussion, board? If not, if not, I need a motion and support. We have a motion and support. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Next up, we have uh, health department budget <coughs> adjustments. <coughs> Item four I. My name is Mr. Chair and committee members. Uh, what we have here is uh, a budget amendment for the health department only, and we're increasing revenue and expense by a little over $50,000. Uh, $25,000 of this is really an increase in federal dollars for the WIC program, and then there's some other changes to, to other grant uh, revenues. And then on the expenditure side, um, uh, we're rearranging salary and fringes to better reflect uh, where people are, are working. We always have uh, amendments with respect to that. Plus, if there's new grant funds, then um, the hours are moved from one uh, grant to another. Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion, questions? Commissioner Elwell. Jim, just one for me on the uh, revenue side for the prosecutor. There, it's 287000 on that line item, and it's only at 4.5% right now. Uh, which is on page four of six. Is uh, there a reason? Yeah, you're talking about the financial statements? Uh, 
I'm talking about revenue and expenditures, sorry. Okay. I think you're ahead one, Dave. Uh, okay. This is strictly health department here. Then you have my question in advance. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Any discussion? If not, I need a motion and support. So moved. Support. We have a motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed aye. the same. Passes unanimous. Thank you. Uh, moving on to item 4J, finance report. Um, aye. And yes. This uh, is where David's question is. Yeah, I have a question. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, now, I'm sorry, what was the question again? It's on uh, page 4, Jim, on the revenue side. Yes. Uh, and of course, I, you haven't even started yet, but uh, the prosecuting attorney shows 287000 on that revenue line, and it's only at 4.5%. Why is that so low this far into the year? Well, um, yeah, I think that, uh, yeah, that particular line item is um, their CRP agreement, and there's been uh, some delays in billing to the state. In other words, we're way behind. We were behind in 2015. We caught up, and we had significant receivables that are reflected in the prior year. So then, again, they're still behind, and they have to catch up. So you uh, think they'll catch up? Yeah. Yes, yeah. they should. Okay. Because that's um, pretty much that's on a reimbursement basis. Salary and fringes uh, of particular prosecutors are reimbursed under that program. Very good. So, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then overall for the financials for the five months ended, uh, our budget benchmark is 41.7 percent. Um, <laughs> the three-year average is 43.1, and our ex actual expenditures at, uh, are at 41.6. So we're below our expenditure level, which is the good news. Uh, then if we look uh, in terms of the the revenue side, again, revenues, revenues are coming in uh, behind the historical pace, but uh, are a little bit soft, but there's really uh, not a concern at this point in time. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to item five, other business. Uh, we need a motion and support to pay the claims. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, motion passes unanimous. Item 5B, other minutes. There are none to report on. Item 5C, our August reporting schedule. We have at the present finance and land bank. And that's all listed currently. Uh, item 6, public comment. Any public comment? Appears to be none. Uh, committee member comment, item 7. Last call. No committee member comment. Uh, meeting is adjourned. Thank you.